In this brief video, we will explore what the term bypass means in terms of pancreatic cancer. Let's look at this picture. There's the liver, the bile tube, the gallbladder attached to the side of the bile tube and the bile tube draining bile into the small bowel. It's the gullet, the stomach, the small bowel, and at the back of the stomach is the gland called the pancreas, the spleen at the tail end. I've drawn a tumor in the head of the pancreas. The best treatment is surgical resection, that is complete removal of the tumor. However, that is not always possible. In that case, the surgeons may perform bypass procedure to prevent the risk of future complications. Let's try and understand what that means. Looking at this tumor over here, you can see that it is already impinging on the bile tube and it's quite likely to cause jaundice because it can completely obstruct the bile tube. So an increase in size may cause a complete obstruction. If there is no previous stent or tube inside the bile tube to drain the jaundice, in this case the surgeons may opt to perform a bypass, which basically means bypassing the path of the bile away from this obstruction. Typically it would mean bringing a loop of small bowel as drawn over here, dividing the bile tube and then making a new join with this loop of small bowel so that now the direction of the flow of the bile is in this direction rather than going down here and that's how jaundice would be relieved. Rarely surgeons may opt to perform the bypass to the gallbladder itself but if that were the case then it's important that surgeons ensure that the bile is able to flow in this direction. Pancreatic cancers can also cause obstruction of the small bowel by growing around the small bowel at the bottom end of the stomach, encircling it and thus causing obstruction. Patients would suffer repeated bouts of vomiting and may lose a lot of weight and fluid rapidly. Surgeons may perform a bypass operation if in an initial attempt at surgical resection fails due to the advanced nature of the cancer itself or if there is evidence of metastatic disease. So how is the bypass performed? A loop of bowel is mobilized up towards the stomach and a new join made with the stomach, thus allowing the food coming into the stomach to go directly into the small bowel and thus bypassing the obstruction. This may be performed through keyhole or as an open operation. So just to recap, bypasses are performed if at initial surgery the tumor is found to be inoperable or it may also be performed as a planned procedure due to complications of the tumor itself. But if that is the case, then the patients have to be fit to undergo the procedure and are thought to be likely to survive longer than a few months. Typically, metal stents are placed in the bile tube if patients are jaundiced and the bile can then flow through them because these spring open the strictures caused by the tumor and bile drains into the small bowel. If a metal stent is already in place, then it is much less likely for the surgeons to opt to perform a bypass with the bile tube. These metal stents have good patency rates. If pancreatic cancer patients develop obstruction of the small bowel during the course of their disease and are not candidates for surgery, then metal stents can be placed to spring open the small bowel, but these are not as durable as surgical bypass and are prone to complications and obstruction with bolus of food. I have here drawn a metal stent just for clarity which springs open the duodenum. As you can see if there is already a metal stent in the bile tube itself such as over here then that could cause technical difficulties in placing the two metal stents side by side into the small bowel. That said metal stents for gastric outlet obstruction secondary to pancreatic cancer are a reasonable strategy in patients who are not fit for surgery. I hope you found this video useful if you have any comments please do share.